Hi and welcome. In this video, we will be going over the process of updating firmware on one or more L-Class loudspeaker. There are two ways of performing a firmware update. You can use the update section within System Navigator, or SysNav for short, on an iPad or PC to update the loudspeakers to the most current firmware version available, or we can use the dedicated firmware updater application on a PC to update the loudspeakers to any available firmware version that has been released to date. We'll go over the process for both. Whether you are using the dedicated firmware updater app or SysNav, the first step is to download the latest version of whichever app you're using. Best practices for a successful firmware update are going to be using the dedicated firmware updater app on a PC, hardwired, or directly connected to the loudspeakers themselves. We'll go over that process first. To download the L-Class Firmware Updater application, navigate to qse.com, click Resources at the top of the screen, and select L-Class Firmware. Click the button at the bottom of the page to download the application. In order to proceed with the download, you will need to log in with your QSE ID or create one if you don't already have one. Once signed in, the download will begin automatically. After the download is complete, double-click on the app installer and follow the prompts on the screen to complete the installation. Great! Now let's get our PC and L-Class loudspeakers connected. If the loudspeakers are in arrays, we can home run one of the L-Class loudspeakers in the array directly to a network switch, or, to keep things even more simple, directly to the PC. And then, daisy chain the remaining loudspeakers using the Ethernet in and through connections. This method is great for updating a smaller number of boxes all at once. For best results, we recommend keeping the total number of boxes being updated to no more than six. If you require updating a larger number of speakers simultaneously, it is recommended that you home run each individual loudspeaker back to a network switch. Okay, let's get connected. We'll start with this simple example, updating three boxes. In my example, I will be using a network switch to connect the L-Class to the PC. I'll connect the first box to the switch, and then daisy chain to the other two. For best results, we recommend keeping the network as simple as possible, meaning, Nothing other than the L-Class loudspeakers and PC should be connected to the switch. Since we're daisy-chaining a small number of loudspeakers, we could even eliminate the switch if we wanted to and simplify things even further. We're also going to make sure that the L-Class loudspeakers and the PC have IP addresses that are in the same range. Great. Now that everything is connected, we're going to power cycle the loudspeakers. Once they're all powered back on, we'll go ahead and optimize the array before beginning the update process. This is an important step. For more information on optimizing the array, I recommend watching our training video on AWARE. We'll put a link to that in the description below. Alright, now let's launch the updater app. The app will discover the connected loudspeakers and display the current firmware version on each one. In the next field, the updater will display any alternative firmware versions available. Also displayed are the loudspeaker names, models, serial numbers, and IP addresses. Now we can perform the update. Select the firmware version you wish to update to and check the loudspeakers you want to receive the update and press Start Update. We can update loudspeakers individually or all at once as long as we are following the best practices for a number of boxes connected discussed earlier. Once the Start Update button is clicked, the loudspeakers will begin to update, and we can see the progress bars both in the software and on the rear user interface of the loudspeakers to track the progress. One important thing to be aware of is that when the progress bar reaches completion, the interface on the loudspeakers will go black for a good 60 to 90 seconds. This is nothing to be concerned about and is a normal part of the process. There will be a countdown within the updater app during this portion of the update. It is imperative that the connection between the PC and loudspeakers is not interrupted during this period. Once the countdown is over, the loudspeakers will reboot and the process is complete. That's it. Now let's take a look at this process using SysNav. The process is very similar with a few minor differences. As mentioned at the beginning, the first step before performing the update is to make sure that the SysNav app on your iPad or PC is completely up to date. The latest version of the PC app can be downloaded directly from qse.com under Resources and System Navigator Software. Click the button for the Windows app and sign in or create a new QSE ID to download. On an iPad, simply navigate to the App Store and search QSE System Navigator. Now we'll get everything connected. Just like with the updater app, we can use a network switch to connect between the PC and loudspeakers, or a direct connection from the PC to the loudspeakers if they are in a daisy chain configuration. Keep the network simple and make sure the PC and loudspeakers IP addresses are all in the same range. Once connected, we'll power cycle all of the loudspeakers and then optimize them. The one main difference between SysNav and the updater app 
is that with the Updater app, you have the ability to update to any available version that has been released. Whereas with SysNav, you can only update to the most current version available. So if we simply want to get all of our connected loudspeakers on the latest version, this is the easiest way to do that. Now in the SysNav app, as soon as we connect, the app will reconcile with the connected loudspeakers and alert us if it detects any loudspeakers that are on an out-of-date firmware right on the home screen. To proceed with updating, navigate to the Update screen by clicking on the Menu button in the upper left-hand corner and selecting Updates. This screen will display the connected L-Class loudspeakers with their model, name, current installed firmware, and the latest firmware available. Just like in the updater, we can select any number of the connected loudspeakers to update. If the array is daisy-chained, keep the number of boxes to no more than six. Using SysNav, we do not advise updating more than six boxes simultaneously, even with a home run back to each loudspeaker. After making our selections, we'll click the Update Firmware button to begin the update. Just like the L-Class updater process, once the progress bar is reached full, the loudspeaker interface will go black for about 60 to 90 seconds. Totally normal. However, unlike with the updater, SysNav will not provide a countdown for that black period. The loudspeakers will reboot once the process is finished and the update will be complete. Again, make sure that the connection between the PC and loudspeakers is not interrupted during the blackout period. One other quick note on the SysNav PC app. If when installing the app you receive a Windows Defender security alert, you'll simply need to check both boxes to allow SysNav to communicate through the firewall on public and private networks. You can also check out our document on L-Class network requirements if you need additional help with connection issues. We'll provide a link to this in the description. Now let's talk about performing an update using SysNav on an iPad. For best results, we do encourage all updates to be performed with a hardwired connection. However, if in a pinch, all that's available is an iPad, an update can be performed this way wirelessly. So long as the total number of boxes being updated is no more than six. Using the iPad, the best way to perform an update is to hardwire the iPad to a network switch or router if that is being used, or directly to the loudspeakers if they are in an array. A hardwired connection with an iPad can be achieved using a Lightning to Ethernet dongle or a USB-C to Ethernet dongle if a newer iPad model is being used. If no such dongle is available, the update can still be performed using Wi-Fi. But if updating more than one box at a time, the process might need to be repeated a few times to ensure that all of the loudspeakers update properly. Let's make our connections to the switch or router or to the array directly, keeping the network as simple as possible. If connecting with a router using Wi-Fi, the same rule applies. And again, Make sure the iPad and loudspeaker IP addresses are all in the same range. On the iPad, we also need to make sure all auto-join networks are disabled other than the network we are using to perform the update. We don't want the iPad switching itself to another network during the update process. For the same reason, we also need to make sure the iPad doesn't put itself to sleep during the update process. There will be an extended period of time in which the iPad will be left alone during the process, and we don't want the screen to shut off. To get around this, we need to disable the sleep function. Go into the Settings app, Select Display and Brightness, then Auto Lock. Set the Auto Lock time to Never. Now we're good to go. With everything connected and the iPad settings changed, let's power cycle the loudspeakers and optimize them. Once we're in the SysNav app, we'll tap the Menu button at the top left of the screen and select Update. From here, everything is just like in the PC app. We'll select the loudspeakers we want to update. When ready, we'll push the Update Firmware button at the top of the screen. Once the update begins, the app cannot be closed for any reason. In fact, just put the iPad down. Don't touch it. And since we've disabled the sleep feature, we can just let it be and not worry about it. During the update, we will see the progress bars appear on the boxes. When they reach full, we'll get the black screen for 60 to 90 seconds, and the message offline will appear next to each loudspeaker within the SysNav app. Again, this is completely normal, and nothing is wrong. Calm down. After the blackout period to finalize the update, the loudspeakers will reboot and you're good to go. And that covers the three methods for updating the firmware on L-Class loudspeakers. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.